I scoured the St. Louis scene for long enough now that being in another city feels like being in an alien landscape. Tulsa is, or feels like, a little big city. It's easy to get around here. The nightlife is happening, there's an art scene, and the kind of eclectic places that makes a city hip. There is no shortage of places to eat or grab a drink. All of them new to me. I don't start to darken any of their doors. I'm looking for something more familiar. Comfort food, if you will. Something to make me feel like I'm back in St. Louis, on Sydney Street, having a lobster roll and quietly wondering to myself, what does a James Beard Award look like? As a chef, I need to stay curious in order to evolve. For me, that means looking beyond a good meal to learn more about who made it and what inspires them to cook. La comida es amor. Every great city has great food. I'm going on a journey around the world, right here in St. Louis. I'm on a quest to find passionate chefs who cooks from the heart. It's exciting. And I think it's the best. To prove that food is love. And it's gonna be delicious. Food is love. Love your food. Growing up in a Hispanic family in New Mexico, working in his grandparents' restaurant, Kevin Nash never imagined himself where he is today. One of only two St. Louis chefs to win the James Beard Best Chef Midwest Award, an owner of Sydney Street Cafe and Peacemaker Lobster, both in St. Louis. Buzzing tables as a teen, it's unlikely that he had any clue that one day his food and accolades would come to be considered a factor in the transformation of St. Louis into a recognized culinary scene. But who is Kevin Nashen? How did all this get started? To find out, I'm meeting Kevin at his flagship restaurant, Sydney Street Cafe. We're here to meet Kevin Nashen. He's an award-winning chef. James Beard award-winning chef, so that says a lot. How did you end up at St. Louis, of all places? Wrong 